It probably can't be overemphasised how big a decision it was by RT to not have um, Joe Brawley on the All Ireland final panel and uh, replace him with Stephen Rochford. I mean the the reasons for having Rochford on are fairly obvious. He's pushed that Dublin close uh, team very close in the past number of years. He's been involved with Donegal this year, who played against Kerry. He's managed against Kerry also and beat them uh, in semi final. So he's very familiar with everything that's at play. A bit like having Michael Murphy on the panel the last day also. So the merits of, of Stephen Rochford, who's a good communicator, and I can imagine he'll do really well, I mean, they're pretty obvious. In terms of Brawley, I think, uh, I mean, it's got to come back to what he said about David Goff at half time after the, the penalty decision that went against uh, Dublin. And at, I said at the time, clear penalty. I think uh, David Goff was 100% right. But Bradley said he's clearly influenced by the propaganda coming from Kerry. And of course, that would relate to what the likes of uh, Eamon Fitzmaurice had said in terms of the, the Mead referee. Bradley's article then um, last Sunday it was I suggested in the heat of the moment that referee David Goff may have been influenced by the propaganda emanating from Kerry in the lead up to the game. Afterwards, I contacted him to apologise for this. It was wrong of me and unfair of David, who is a man of integrity and honour. So clearly, He's rolling back in a big, big way, and uh, and rightly so because he was wrong. Uh, the referee was right, and Goff explained to him the the intricacies um, of this, those decisions, which which is all fine. But it goes back to I think what the change in uh, in head of sport in RT, who is Declan McBennett, and he had spoken about personal attacks that. Uh, and this is an interview at the start of 2019. It's a question I've been asked several times. It's subjective, but you've got to understand if it's an attack on a person in terms of their character or appearance or otherwise, it's a personal attack. It has to be evidence-based. And I would say that if you're being, if someone has been said to be clearly influenced by the propaganda coming from one side, I think that possibly, and I mean, I can't speak for anyone at RT, but maybe that does amount to the personal attack. And a message has to be sent out that if... It doesn't matter who it comes from that if this sort of thing is going to happen you know kind of an example has to be made of somebody and that nobody is above repute uh eamon mcgee the former donegal footballer and all-ireland winner in 2012 he tweeted uh, joe Bradley not making the all-ireland final panel leaves me torn when he wasn't making personal attacks like the kavanagh rant referring to sean kavanagh uh he was good crack no serious analysis but just go crack you can't keep making it about yourself though eventually people get fed up and i had spoken to a couple of other people who are rte pundits earlier on in the year and how it was if you went in strong about something, there was no issue there, just as long as you were able to back it up with evidence. And maybe that's what it all comes down to. And you'd imagine that going for someone who seems quite different in Stephen Rochford, that he would be very evidence-based. And um, yeah, interesting to see if Brawley would be back again. I saw an article in the meantime saying that that could be him done. I, I would say you know generally based on how argumentative he tends to be in uh, in both his columns and also when he's on tv um i can't imagine it was a conversation that went too brilliantly being told that he wouldn't be part of it and uh, per, i mean i'm only suggesting but maybe to be heated words and maybe maybe it's a situation that there won't be any coming back from but it's like anything a few months will pass by dust will settle and maybe he'll be back but it's an interesting one and let us know in the comments if you think he should be back